Hello everyone, this is Fatima Jamil and you are watching my channel FJ Medical Video. How are you all doing? Hope everything is going good with all of you. So coming to today's video, this video is going to be about the most difficult, most confused and most vaguely understood topic of our student life and it is nothing other than ECG, Electrocardiography. And friends, I have put really a good effort to make it easy for you. Before we get into the video proper, I want to give you just two very small suggestions. First one is, please, please do not watch this video when you are bored up or when you are in hurry. Because nothing goes into the mind at that time. Watch it when you are really in hunger to learn something. I mean to say when your mind is totally concentrated. Secondly, delete all the vague information you have got in your brain about ECG. Learn it or watch it as if you are learning for the very first time. It really helps you. Let me give you the outline of what we are going to look at today. I will be starting with definition, then basic principles. Under basic principles, we have polarity, depolarization, repolarization, directionality and magnitude. Then we will be looking at how the normal ECG is formed. Next, the measurements of the graphs, intervals, duration, etc. And etc. Then we will be looking at leads and cardiac axis. And lastly, we will be looking at the normal ECG at different leads. We can also say it as a 12 lead interpretation. Under the heading of basic principles or concepts, we have five concepts to be learned. Concept of polarization, depolarization, repolarization, directionality and magnitude. We are going to learn all these concepts using a single cardiac cell. Assume this what you are seeing here is a cardiac cell. And we are going to connect one pole or end of the cardiac cell to the positive terminal and another end to the negative terminal. And simultaneously we will be seeing what will be recorded in ECG. Now here you are looking at the cardiac cell which is in its resting state. At rest, every cardiac cell is electronegative inside. In fact, every cell and relatively electropositive outside. At this stage where there is electronegative force inside the cell, then the cell is said to be in a state of polarization or it is said to be polarized. Here we have one cell whose one end is connected to positive terminal and another end to negative terminal. Inside the cell is full of negative ions but as these negative ions are not moving either this way or that way in the ECG recordings we get a simple flat line. It does not matter whether the cell is filled with positive ions or with negative ions. If there is no motion of the ions to any side there is no electrical activity so there is no positive or negative deflection on the graph and we get a simple flat line. In this picture, as you see, the positive ions are moving towards the positive terminal. The positive ions direction is indicated by this arrow. This can also be called as vector as it has both magnitude and direction. Anything which has both magnitude and direction is called as vector. So as positive ions are moving towards the positive terminal, it has positive deflection in ECG. This line you see here is called as zero deflection line. If any positive deflection happens, it is drawn above this line. If any negative deflection happens, it is drawn below this line. Coming to next picture, the positive ions are moving towards the negative terminal and the deflection in ECG is negative. In the next picture, the negative ions are moving towards the positive terminal and deflection is negative. In the last picture, the negative ions are moving towards the negative terminal and the deflection is positive. How to remember which deflection is caused by movement of which ion towards which terminal? It's difficult. To make it simple, first you have to see 
विच आयोन्स आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स विच टर्मिनल ओके जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन विच आयोन्स आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स विच टर्मिनल देन यू कम बैक टू दिस पिक्चर बाय सींग दिस पिक्चर यू विल रिमेंबर दी चाइल्डहुड स्कूल लेस मैथमेटिकल मल्टीप्लीकेशन वेर इट सेज दैट वेन पॉजिटिव इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय पॉजिटिव वी गेट दि आंसर इन पॉजिटिव और वेन नेगेटिव इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नेगेटिव वी गेट दि आंसर पॉजिटिव और एनी डिफरेंट साइंस आर मल्टीप्लाइड लाइक पॉजिटिव इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नेगेटिव और नेगेटिव इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय पॉजिटिव देन वी गेट द नेगेटिव आंसर इन द सेम वे वेन पॉजिटिव आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स दि पॉजिटिव बोथ आर सेम सिंबल्स वी गेट ए पॉजिटिव डिफ्लेक्शन वेन नेगेटिव आयोन्स आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स नेगेटिव टर्मिनल बोथ आर सेम सिंबल्स वी गेट ए पॉजिटिव डिफ्लेक्शन बट वेन पॉजिटिव इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स नेगेटिव टर्मिनल these are different so we get negative deflection in the same way here the negatives are moving towards the positive terminal which are also a different sign we get negative deflection now coming back to solve the ecg waves formed during these various stages first one is polarization where the cell is fully electronegative but the ions are not moving to any side so if electrons are not moving then the ecg recording is a normal flat line second one is depolarization here you see the positive ions are moving towards the positive so we get a positive deflection third one is also a depolarization where the cell is completely depolarized it means the cell reached a maximum amount of depolarization and again come back to its normal level where there is no motion of ions and hence the lastly we get a flat line coming to repolarization here the negative ions are moving towards the positive ones so if negative moves towards the positive terminal then we always have a negative deflection the fourth picture shows the complete repolarization that means the cell has reached its maximum level of depolarization and again get got back to its normal state of no electrical activity now lastly coming to the concept of magnitude to understand it let's take the whole heart into consideration on the right arm we have the negative pole and on the left arm we have the positive pole this is called as lead one there are various number of leads like chest leads unipolar leads etc but we will learn about them in detail later to understand the concept of magnitude let's take lead one as example let's assume that if depolarization of a ventricles or the vector of depolarization of ventricles is in this direction then you see a big positive wave on ecg the reason is because this vector is parallel to the lead now if you look at a different angle and the vector of depolarization is in this way as it is not as parallel as the above one you see a relatively small positive wave on ecg and if the depolarization vector is perpendicular to the lead then we have no electrical activity and we have a flat line so the magnitude of deflection relates with how parallel the electrical force is to the lead if it is more parallel then the deflection magnitude is more if it is less parallel then the magnitude of deflection is less it is like magnitude of deflection is directly proportional to how much parallel is the lead to the vector so finally today we have learned all the basic concepts of ecg that's it for today give a quick revision to it and if you like it hit on that like button and if you do not want to miss any of my videos please hit on that subscribe button you will get all the notification immediately as soon as i post a video on youtube thank you for watching bye bye